Hello and good evening. Welcome to a nighttime edition of Coffee and Questing, or as I'm starting to call it, Wine and Wandering. So I'm going to be playing a little bit of Earthbound again. So yeah, wine. She is. All right, let's get started. All right, so we found out that there's a girl missing. Her name's Paula. Evil dude. Stranger danger. Hacking <laughs> clown. Uh oh, mushroom. Mushroom, mushroom. Yeah. Peaceful rest valley ahead. Proceed through cave. Ugh, aliens. I used cover. Tactical ness. Cross bridge to happy, happy village. And it's broken. For some weird reason, a pencil shaped iron statue was blocking the path. Okay, so we gotta go talk to some inventors to maybe help us get past this with their crazy inventions. <gasps> oh man, I'm doing just fine, doll. How are you? I'm just enjoying my evening with a little game called Earthbound. I think that my grandchild is older than you. He's a famous inventor. Oh, everyone keeps going on about this kid. Alright, so this is Orange Kid, an inventor. The most popular inventor in the town. What? You're actually willing to help finance the project? Hell no. Yeah, seriously, what did he invent? They don't say. What did you invent anyway, Orange Kid? What makes you so great? Oh my god, look at this guy. He's not much better. He lives in Squala. Look at this pile of tools. He invented many things. <laughs> I love the argument style. Well, I have sort of neglected my doing my housework. I know it's a bit of a pigsty, but anyway. I'm Apple Kid. Maybe you would like to invest some money in my inventions? Sure. Gotta help the underdog. Ooh, a teddy bear. Are you here just to say hi? What a loser. Hello, this is Escargo Express. Your delivery charge is $18. What a cumbersome system. I changed my mind. For you see, I have no idea what this crap does. That genius Jeff should be able to fix it sometime. You, know, you haven't even met Jeff yet. Have they been talking about Jeff at least? Nope. I just randomly got a broken machine that he can fix. But I haven't met him yet. There you are. Nice. We worked him good. Okay, there we go. Hello, this is Apple Kid. I'm just finished work on this great invention. Get over here as fast as you can. Finally, the pencil eraser is ready. This machine will eradicate all pencil-shaped figures in just one second. It's incredibly powerful. Just don't use it near a shop that sells pencils. Let's use the pencil eraser. For some weird reason, the iron pencil statue was erased. Time for some wine. Shit. <gasps> oh man, no! The game crashed. It crashed as he erupted into flames. I gotta do it all over again. <laughs> I told you it was a turd. Oh no, the spores! Here we go. Every time you stream these retro games, I feel like playing my GB. <laughs> nice. Do you still have one? That's pretty cool if you do. I liked my SP, but I, I did not treat it very well. Nice, you still have it. Oh crap, he's gonna kill me! I didn't- I wasn't paying attention. Oh my god. No. That hippie kicked my ass for a guy that most likely believes in non-violence. See, that's the way they're supposed to go. That hippie was kicking some ass, though. 50 damn- what the heck, dude? Ever played Golden Sun? Nope, I have not played it. I heard it was good, though. I think- is it hard, though? Whoa, unassuming local guy. What a creep. Do you know any modern game that has a retro-like style? Any genre or a game like this? There was a game on Steam that I saw last week that's very much influenced by Earthbound. 
I can't remember what it was called though, it's it's not Undertale. It seemed pretty cool. If it's only the graphical style, Shovel Knight is a great modern retro game. Another game that I like, um, that's a little bit more modern, but I like a really addictive soundtrack is Mighty Switch Force. It's just a game where like you, it's like, it's like a platforming and puzzle game at the same time. Who are you talking to? No one, I just, I need to talk to myself every now and then. What was the game I played on stream that I enjoyed the most? Oh man. I really enjoyed playing just all the Resident Evil games when I first started streaming. I have fond memories of that. I enjoyed Silent Hill, which I did earlier this year. It was fun to go back to after 20 years of not playing it. First time you watched me, I was playing RE1 Remake. Yeah, that was so much fun too, because I think that's when I was learning about speedruns, and even though if I can't speedrun that well, it was just fun to like watch other people do it and try to replicate their runs. And it helped me unlock a lot of achievements too, which was cool. I did stuff that I never thought I'd be able to do. Why would someone do this? Oh right, the Night Trap one. And I remember Clock Tower also. That was a really fun stream that I had. The first Clock Tower on SNES and then the uh, the PlayStation version, the sequel. That was like a super nostalgic stream. We're almost there. Oh no, not that stupid tree. Ha, we made it. Welcome to Happy Happy Village. I'm collecting donations to help protect the world from contaminants. Donate whatever you can. No thanks. I'll be your <laughs> I'll be your shadow then. Straight up trolling. Mr. Car Painter communicates with the divine. So he is able to deliver inspired messages. You want to talk to Mr. Car Painter directly? You must think you're pretty important, and boy do you have a lot of nerve. You deserve to be struck by lightning. Uh, blue, blue. Oh, you'd like to be one of us? Then, give up what you're doing, and go meet the great Mr. Carpenter as soon as possible. Thanks for coming. I've been waiting for you. I need your assistance to help make the world blue, and change it into a happy and peaceful society. If you don't want to be my right hand, my left would be just fine. Just kidding. Your existence is a problem for me and my religion. Defy me, and I'll end your pitiful game. You got moved here because you gave Mr. Car Painter some lip. What's the game that has the best soundtracks in your opinion? Final Fantasy 7 and 8 are good contenders, but if you're not a fan of Final Fantasy music, then it's very hard to uh, recommend those. So then, I like Shenmue a lot. I was just listening to um, the Tomato Convenience Store remixes on OC Remix a while ago. Oh, your eggs, thank you. Ellen Tarr, you're, you're a pro. Oh, I got the drop on him. Yeah, it's got a good, it's got a pretty good variety too. Kind of hits you in the, the feels. One song I can think of in particular is uh, Fisherman's Horizon from Final Fantasy VIII. It's a very uh, bittersweet kind of song. Sonic CD. That's another. Yeah, that's a good one. Bomberman 64, especially the resort level in that in that game. What's that instrument called? That makes it sound French. E. We're at the cottage. We can rescue Paula. Are you Ness? Ness, I'm so glad it's you. I had a dream that a boy named Ness was my destiny. No pressure. I heard Carpenter can control lightning. In that case, you should wear this Franklin badge. Oh, she gives it to you. Come back here and get me once you defeat Carpenter. Hey Ness, you're just here to bother me, aren't you? You can call me Master Pokey. Later, Potato. A cookie. Abandoned cookie. That sounds like a good Twitch username. Carpenter's lightning was reflected by the Franklin badge. Woohoo! I have been doing peculiar things. Please forgive me if you can. I just wanted to have a normal life. So I started a cult, which is completely normal. Take the key and go. Ness, let's be friends again. Please answer me. I promise to be good. Uh, okay? Ha, <laughs> I lied. See ya, sucker. What a jerk. 
Ness, you got the key. Are you hurt? No, I'm, I'm cool. Everything's cool. I'm sorry for all the trouble I've caused you. Whatever, just, just get out of there. Paula joined you. Sorry for the uh, the fast forward music. Oh, there is a drugstore nearby. Okay, thanks. Okay, I think a good idea would actually be that I call the stream here, do some grinding, and then resume next time. Thank you guys for stopping by. This is a lot of fun. Yeah, Earthbound's a great game. Bye!